So for this part, it says the current price of an annual coupon bond is 100. The yield to maturity is an annual effective rate of 8%. The derivative of the price of the bond with respect to the yield to maturity is negative 700. Using the bond yield rate, calculate the Bacali duration of the bond in years. Okay, well, the first thing that we think of is well, how would we solve the Macaulay duration firsthand? Well, we would always have to find the price of the bond, right? And on top of that, we would have to find the price of the bond, but by multiplying it by a duration based on the time that the payments occur within each time interval. For example, if a payment was occurring at time one and we still had to discount it, we would have to multiply that whole thing by one. If the payment was occurring at two, we would also have to discount, but we would also have to multiply the whole thing by two, right? But another way to describe the Macaulay duration is to know that it is always equal to the negative derivative over P over the price of the bond, right? So now, basically, we just noticed that certain terminologies have just variations of however we want to view them as. And so now we're able, we assume that we use this type of notation because they give us such meager um, information. So now we say that the current price of the annual coupon bond is 100, right? So we know that price ends up here. So uh, yeah, we know, yeah, so again, the uh, Macaulay duration, another way of saying what the Macaulay duration is equal to is always the negative derivative of the price divided by the price of the bond again. So we're going to do, they give us the price of the bond. So we input 100 here. Don't forget the negative. They say that the derivative of they say that the yield to maturity is an annual effective rate of 8% and that the derivative of the price of the bond with respect to the yield to maturity is uh, negative 700, right? So now it says that we know that since it says the derivative of the price of the bond is negative 700, we're going to input 700 here. But it says that negative 700 in respect to the yield to maturity, which is a rate of 8%. So what we're going to do is that we're going to multiply that derivative by 1.08. Because we have to also remember that Whenever even given this piece, that the Macaulay duration is also equal to negative uh, derivative of the price times the effective uh, interest rate plus one over the price of the bond. If they're saying that the derivative of the price of the bond is within respect to the yield of maturity. So now we're going to solve this. We're going to find out that 100 times one point two. We're gonna find out that this is 756 divided by 100 is uh, 7.56, which is C.